Hey guys, welcome back to my channel in computer network practical series. Today I'm going to demonstrate you practical number eight. So we are going to create interface something like this. So let me first show you aim of practical number eight. So the aim is what using a Cisco packet tracer, create a network with three routers with BGP and each router is associated with minimum three PCs. So the way we have done practical five, six and seven, same way we have to create an interface for this also. But now we will be using BGP. Okay, so before starting with the interface and configuration, let's discuss what is BGP. BG so the full form of BGP is border gateway protocol. It is a routing protocol and generally useful for exchanging information between routers which are in different autonomous system. Okay, commonly BGP is used by ISPs that is your internet service provider to exchange the information with other ISP and to provide connectivity for their customer to the rest of the internet. BGP routers maintains a database. This database it maintains for exchanging the update with the neighboring neighbors or routers to keep their database up to date. Okay, so this was the short description of BGP. Now we will be creating topology something like this. And this is what my network configuration. So again, uh, we will be having three routers and uh, for each of the router, we will be having uh, a three PCs associated with them. PC0 to PC1 will be for router one. And then for router number two, that is router um, next router i am having 3 4 and 5 and then for the next router i am having 6 7 and 8 and these are my uh, ip addresses network addresses and default gateway which i have shown so i will be showing you all this thing how i have assigned ip addresses network addresses and default gateway step by step instruction i am going to show you don't miss even a single step otherwise you will not be able to send packet from one network to another network so without skipping any part of the video please watch video till end so now let me take you to my cisco packet tracer and this is what the design which i have made you can see i'm having three routers and then we are having three um, pieces in each of the network or router and then this is my autonomous system one autonomous system two autonomous system three so i have given ip address network address everything all is set up i'll just run and show you whether my pdus are sent or not so so let me take uh, this network and this network so it's showing me fail no problem we'll try again so let's take again the same machine so pc2 here and here pc4 okay i got the message as successful so the um, packets are sending from one network to another network so let me uh, show you step by step so i'm going to create a new project so follow my video okay guys i have started my cisco packet tracer now i will be showing you how to create topology so from network devices you select your router so i'm selecting pt router so you can just press control and select this because i need three router so rather than going uh, and selecting again and again you can just press control and select that so now i have uh, released my control button and i'm just clicking over here and one more router over here one more router over here so router zero router one router two okay after taking router i will be taking switches so here i am going to select pt switch so again press control and select this pt switch and drop it guys over here okay so my three router done now in each network i am going to take three pieces so i am going to go to end devices and here i am going to select pc so again press control and select this pc so i need three pc one two three then in this network also i need three pc so if you press control then it becomes easy so done i have taken three pc now we will be connecting through cables so let's go to this connection and now i will be taking this automatically choose connection because uh, for each connection i need different router to router is different router to switch is different so better let's uh, this decide automatically what connection or cable i need so again you can press control and select this and now guys you can just click here 
and just drop here and then click here drop here click here drop here and then this to this okay okay so this is done now let me connect router to router so for router to router this type of cable is used so i'll show you over here this cable serial dt cable is used okay so guys my uh, connection is also done now let's assign ip addresses to pcs and then we will go to router for configuring it okay so now i'll just click on this pc and here i will go to desktop and ip configuration okay before assigning this ip configuration i would like to show you one table that will make uh, your understanding clear like what ip addresses you can assign so guys you can see here for pc i'm assigning ip address as 10.10.2 and i'm taking default uh, gateway as what 10.10.10.1 so if you see here pc0 pc1 pc2 they are in one network so i have given uh, this default gateway same uh, ip addresses i am giving 10.10.10.2 and for this machine 3 and for this machine 4 and this is what my network address it will be in a range 10.10.10.0 okay so for pc number 3 to pc number 5 i am taking 20.20.20.2 20.20.20.3 .20 .20 and 20.20.20.4 this will be ip addresses for my machines and And this is going to be what default gateway so 20.20.20.1 .20 and this is going to be my uh, I, network address okay and similarly for pc6 to pc7 i have taken 30.30.30.23 and 4 and i am taking default gateway as 30.30.1 for all pcs and this is what my network address okay so let's first complete this part and then i'll explain you this router configuration okay so here i am going to select this pc and now here we will be assigning default gateway so just now i have shown you i am going to assign default gateway for this machine as 10.10.1 for all this three machine i will be taking the same default gateway and here i am going to give ip address as 10.10.2 and just press tab and subnet mask has been generated cross it now select the second machine go to desktop ip configuration and then here my ip address is going to be 3 and then my default gateway is going to be 10.10.10.1 okay take this machine go to desktop configuration and here this is going to be 4 and then guys this you have to take 10.10.10.1 done okay so for this we are done now let's go to this okay so for this i am taking 20.20.20.20.20.2 so this is going to be my this machine ip address and the subnet mask for this is going to be this range okay 20.20.20.1 so for all machines i am going to assign same subnet mask because they are in the same network so here and here i am going to give as 20.20.20.3 okay done now go to this machine and do the configuration ip configuration 20.20.20.4 and then here 20.20.20.1 okay so this is done and now let's go to this machine and let's assign uh, ip address so i will be taking 30.30.30. see i am taking simple ip address so that you remember and you can do you can take any ip address no problem so 30.30.30.2 is my ip address of this machine and then subnet mask i am going to give 30.30.30.1 okay let me just copy this so that i can paste to other uh, devices so here i am again taking ip configuration and this is going to be 3 and this is going to be 30.30.30.1 and now let's go to this machine desktop ip configuration this will be what 4 and here i have to give as 30.30.1 
Okay, guys. So now my this machine uh, IP configuration is done. All six machine. Now we will be doing configuration of router. So you can see my this router zero is connected to this switch, and uh, again this router is connected to this router. Okay. So what I have to do? I have to do the settings of router. So first I will be doing network connection. So I am going to select this router. and now here we will be doing uh, configuration through this config you can do through cli also and guys you can see my this router is connected to this network as well as this network so this is connected to fast ethernet um, so i am going to select fast ethernet and first of all i am going to click on on button and here i am going to assign ip address of this network so i will be assigning 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 1. Okay, so this is what IP address for this. And now I'm going to select serial 2. So serial 2, this is connected to what this router. So I'm going to give one address to this router. So again, I need to just click on this on button and here assign the IP address. So let me just take you to my document again. And here, guys. you can see how i have given i have assigned gigabit ethernet 10.10.10.1 because that's a, uh, a subnet mask of first network and for this uh, network serial i am assigning 40.40.40.1 okay so let's do that okay so here i am going to assign 40.40.40.1 okay so this address i have assigned to this router ip con ip address now i'll just close this and now you can see this router is connected to router 0 as well as router 2 so i have assigned address 40.40.40.1 to this router so i am going to assign 40.40.40.2 to this as well as you can see this is connected to this so i will assign gigabit address also so now again i will go to ip config and fast ethernet just switch on it and assign the address of this network so my second network is having what uh, 20.20.20.1 .20 so i have just assigned that and go to serial 2 and now guys here you can see this is connected to two serial port okay here and here so i need to assign ip address of this range so i give 40.40.40.1 to router 0 so here i am going to give 40.40.40.2 and guys don't forget to switch on this router and now go to serial 30 and one more thing i would like to show you whatever setting you are doing you can see uh, it showing over here command line interface so uh, this command is generated over here so and type the command here also and you can do okay i find config easy so hence i am doing so now here i will be assigning network address to this router so let's take network address as 50.50.50.1 so this is done and i'm going to switch on this okay now i will go over here now you can see it showing me in green i will go over here i will again sell, go to config and here i'm going to select fast ethernet and now here uh, i will assign network address of this so that is 30.30.30.1 and guys i'm going to switch on this and then i will go to serial 2 now this is connected to only router number 1 so i am going to uh, uh, give ip address which are in range of router number 1 so 50.50.50.2 okay so this is what done ip configuration is done i'll just switch on this okay guys so i have created my network i have assigned ip addresses to my pc i have connected it to router now uh, what i'll do i'll just uh, draw the rectangle to differentiate the autonomous system so for that i'm going to take rectangle and let me take color so you can take any color no problem so this is my one network and then uh, i'll take another color this is going to be my another network this is just to differentiate and show you it's uh, not required for getting your output so if you want you can 
avoid this okay so this is for my third network and now let me put label also so that we can uh, differentiate the autonomous system name so i'll take this add node and here es1 and this is going to be my es2 and this is going to be my es3 okay so after doing okay after doing this now let's move to the next part that is configuring your router for bgp so select your router go to cli and now here you have to type command so before that here config if is coming so let me just exit this and now i'm getting this a uh, router config so first of all i'm going to write router space bgp space your autonomous system number so i'm giving one okay just hit enter so now configure router is coming here we have to assign network so for this router this is my network and this is another network two network we are having so i will be writing network and for the router number zero uh, this network that is uh, 10.0.0 .0 .0, let me take you to dock so you can see this is one network and this is another network so i will be assigning this network over there so uh, let's uh, do that so network space 10.0.0.0 okay so this is what you have to assign and then again the next network we have as 40 so i'll just press up arrow key and here i'm repeating my command network and i'm giving 40 now we have to assign neighbors for router number zero so router number zero the neighbor is router one okay so i have to use neighbor command n e i g h b o r neighbor command and then i have to give what ip address of my neighbor as well as autonomous system of my neighbor okay so let's give the ip address of my neighbor i'll just show you this command i have given in my doc also you can find this doc in description box i will provide my google drive link so here you can see my neighbor who is my neighbor my uh, second router ip address so this is my second router ip address if you go over here you can check it out my second I, uh, router ip address is what 40.40.40.2 so I need to provide this as well as here you need to use remote hyphen AS that is autonomous remote autonomous and the number for that. So let's complete that. Okay. So I'll, I'll just open my this as well as this. So neighbor and um, IP address of neighbor. Remember here you have to provide IP address not the network address 40.40.2 space remote hyphen is and what is the remote name for your uh, neighbor router to hit enter guys so this is done don't have any other neighbor for this so i'm just exiting this okay so exit and now let's close this cli for router zero let's go to router one so now check it out for router one the network is what we have this network okay as well as this that is 50 20 and 40 also we have two neighbors okay so we will be doing configuration accordingly so again go to clr type exit okay and now here let's type router bgp space 2 network so the first network we have as 20.0.0.0 and second network we have as 40 oops mistake so 40 and the third one we have as 50 okay so now network assignment is done we will assign neighbor now so neighbor check out the spelling of neighbor so first neighbor is what this router so i need to assign ip address 40.40.40.1 .40 and remote hyphen as so what is the remote uh, as name one so one just type that what it is showing me I'm showing me some message so let's uh, continue neighbor next neighbor we have as 50.50.50.2 okay and the remote as remote as is what three right okay now we will exit 
neighbor. We had two neighbors, so we completed two neighbors. You, you can see the commands. We, are, we have assigned three networks and two neighbors. Right? Now let's exit. Okay, so here it is done. Okay, for router number two, this and these are my network and then this is my neighbor. So let's uh, go to CLI of this router. And now here first I'll exit and I'm going to type a router BGP3 and then network. Okay, this is 30.0.0.0 and then again network, it comes under 50, so 50.0.0. Now next we will assign more neighbor. So NEI, GHBOR, then for this my network is 50.50.50.1 and remote hyphen AS is what? Okay, and finally we have to write exit. Okay, guys, so router setting is done. We have assigned BGP to all the router. Now we will be testing this network. So let's take a PDU. And first of all, we will be sending in the same network. So here to here. Okay, it's showing me successful. So now let's go to some other network from this network to this network. Okay, it's showing me fail. So PC number two and PC number three. So sometimes it happens even if one packet gets failed, it shows fail. So, okay, so what I'll do, I'll just go to this PC and let's uh, go to uh, command prompt. So here command prompt and then we will be trying network. So what I can do, uh, we can type a command ping. So ping 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot suppose 3. Okay, so here it shown me message. Okay, all packet has been sent. Uh, we can try some other machine also. 10.10.10.2 okay all the packet has been sent okay guys so you can see through ping it is showing me a message so i try to connect from one network to another network so let's go to this network and try uh, so command prompt and then ping i just passed 20.20.20.3 Okay, it showed me request timeout, otherwise it is showing me reply. So that means guys, it is able to connect from one network to other. So if you try to send PDU, sometimes it shows fail because at least one packet gets failed, then it shows fail. Now you can see PC6 to PC3, it is showing me successful. Okay, so I hope guys by following my video, you are able to complete your practical of computer network. If yes, then do let me know through comment box. And guys, I hope you like my video. If yes, then uh, please hit on like button. If you have any kind of query, you can put in comment box. I will surely reply to your queries. Guys, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit bell icon to receive a notification from my channel. Thank you guys for watching my video till end. I'll see you in my next video. Till that, bye-bye and take care.